This is the Britannia Commercial Rowing Club from Ireland against Elizabethan Boat Club. Elizabethan to the right of your picture on the Bucks station nearest to Temple Island. And they're scrapping along in the early stages, trying to keep pace with the Irish boat, who look to have got out a little bit cleaner. Yeah, I agree, that commercial crew are looking like they're cleaner and they're very, very smooth in the way they're picking up their catches. Westminster old boys on that side, the leather beef, and it's not hard to work out where the um, uh, boys came from when you see them race wearing that pink. Um, got there out there in the start, but as you see, and the commercial crew has pressed away. Emphatically. And very experienced club. They know all about Hendy. They've been here so often before as a club. This is club men's fours with a cox. So uh, those of you who can spot the cox, uh, it's perhaps an unconventional uh, point of the boat. So just tell us about the cox who's uh, effectively behind the rowers. Yeah, in, in these cox boats, you can have stern loaders or bow loaders. And what we're looking at here is two stern loaders so they're sitting in the front of the boat, leading the crew, so they can actually only feel what's going on. They can hear and feel what's going on, and they're using their skill to translate that into giving the right calls to their men to make sure that they are able to um, make, maximize what the, everything that comes out the boat, boat speed. And we can see here, it, it's not easy conditions. That wind again is moving around. You can see some dead spots, and the, the coxes will be able to see that. The men, of course, are rowing backwards. You don't know when you're gonna hit those or not. So they'll be giving them feedback on that. Yeah, swirling the wind. It's not a consistent wind. It's very blustery. Probably the worst could be for these rowers. And it's a serious element of trust going on, isn't it? With the cox who uh, can't get eye contact and isn't seeing anything like what the the oarsmen are seeing. It's a completely different game he's playing. Yeah, and you can see they're actually lying down in that boat. I, 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 at my six foot plus, have never tried that, but I can only imagine it's not very comfortable. And you can see the coxswain of the commercial rowing club crew from Ireland, Elizabeth Moody, she was just looking over to see what was happening in the Elizabethan boat, because again, she won't be able to sense where they are. They, we can see it on the markers, the rowers can actually see it on the markers, and obviously they can see, see pushing away. But when you're ahead as a coxswain in these boats, you just have to trust. Well, this is a more competitive race. Got the umpire there asking the Irish to get back onto their side of the water. Now he's going to have a problem trying to talk to the cox there. Elizabeth Moody is the cox who needs to follow that instruction. Of course, she can't see the umpire. The umpire needs to get that instruction across. And the person who's in the best position perhaps is Jack Smith, who's in the uh, in the stroke seat for commercial. Uh, they'll be able to really see what the umpire is saying uh, in the stroke seat from commercial. Yeah, and again, it would be Patrick in the bow seat who would have to communicate that to the coxswain because, of course, one of the str struggles of a rowing boat is you're looking at your competitor's head, and so you, you need to make sure that you, you are aware everyone is responsible for the steering in a boat. Yes, the coxswain has the, the rudder in their hands, but actually you need to keep communicating. They've all got a different vantage point. They can all see different things, five in each of these boats. But uh, what those in the commercial boat will know is they are home and have done that very stylishly in the first heat of the Britannia Challenge Cup. Morrow Kennedy, Dowling Smith and Moody the Cox have won their heat. I'll be very pleased about that. Only a minor intervention from the umpire against Elizabethan Boat Club. They head home.